what's going on YouTube? Rodan back. Oh, we had a little bit of shenanigans last night with uh, bad cameraman in the server. Uh, he posted a video about uh, schematic brush, which we do in fact have schematic brush now. Um, I switched the server over to, uh, well, switched it over to. Um, so I added Sponge Forge to the server because um, you remember you know, one of the redstone videos and some of the other videos where I've talked about schematic brush and what schematic brush can do. And um, you know, I've been reading about it and looking at the different forums and um, you know trying different things out, you know trying back doorways to do it. You know, how about if I grab the right color wool? Um, you know, trying backdoor ways to do it, uh, trying to get it to work. And, uh, it, you know, it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked at, at all. Um, you know, all the different things that I've tried, they just don't, they don't work. And, um, you know, we did try the, um, we did try the command block schematic mod, um, and I don't think I ever released a video on that. I'll, I'll do that in the Redstone videos. I'll uh, release that. Um, you know, that's a mod that, a, that another, uh, another guy made, and it's really, really cool. And uh, it does have its uses. But unfortunately for our application, um, it's, it's just not viable. And it's not... It was cool, and it is cool. And it does cool things, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't do the schematic block or schematic block, schematic brush action um, that we're looking for. Um, so we had to find, we had to keep searching. Um, by the way, uh, Primitive Panther built this yesterday, you know, came on and uh, we had a good chat and he was building and uh, he's got a video going, coming up on that uh, here real soon. Um, so in reading some of the different forums and uh, talking to some people on Discord, um, I figured out what I had to do for SpongeForge. And by figured out, I mean I pulled my head out uh, and um, and it's it's really really super easy and effectively I was I was just I was overthinking it um, you know I was overthinking the entire process to see this is all forested now um, I was overthinking the entire process and I was making it much more difficult than it actually is and all there is to it if you're running Minecraft uh, 1.12.2, um, or I think it's 1.12.2 or 1.10.1, 1.10.2, and then 1.11.1, 1, 1, um, you can use SpongeForge. And since Conquest is still 1.12.2, you know, other than the alpha for 15.2, um, we can use SpongeForge, which means we can use plugins, which since SpongeForge doesn't go up to 15, that invariably means that we probably won't shift to 115.2 on the server uh, when it's fully released and stable. Um, and the reason for that is, I mean, really the only reason for that is a schematic brush. Um, you see all these trees here, all of this, this entire forest, well, most of this entire forest uh, was done with schematic brush. And um, I will I will do a schematic brush video. Um, actually, probably later today I'll do it, and I'll put it up there. Um, and I'll do it. It'll do be outside of the Whaleboro videos. Um, uh, I might uh, I might throw it up as a Whaleboro video, but it's it's not. We're not going to build in Whaleboro for it. Um, but we're going to do is we're just going to, you know, we're going to do some foresting. You know, we'll do some simple foresting through here. 
that kind of thing. I want to play with it more. Um, I need to find an island or something to destroy, or that I don't care if it gets destroyed. Um, like there's like the Sugar Plum Island over there. I, there's a there's two islands over there that are just looted with or littered with uh, looted with uh, littered with uh, cherry trees, and um, I'm not a huge fan of those two islands because it just kind of looks weird. But, um, it's, I think those are a, uh, those are a, um, perfect, uh, candidate for, um, for the schematic brush fun, um, and seeing what it can actually do, seeing some of the different things it can do. So, so here we are at, uh, the, the prison, um, and you know, I posted a posted a picture of it up on um, up on Reddit, and um, you know, took it took quite a while for us to get here to this point. Um, this was over the course of a couple of days, you know, a couple hours here, a couple hours there, uh, and we're just going to do a little walkthrough of it right now. Um, I found that my videos go pretty long when I'm doing the build videos. Um, so what we're going to do in this one is we're just going to do a, uh, a walkthrough of the prison. Um, so you can get an idea where we're at, where we're going. Uh, well, I, I mean, this, this one's my specific build. Um, the whale, whale burrow, uh, the town is all of us. Um, uh, you know, this one I've just been doing, you know, by myself. Because uh, I thought we kind of needed something like this. And I needed a break from building houses at shops and uh you know i like building castle -y type stuff so so um so anyway so we come in come through here um you've got uh you know two two you know some myrtle holes there portcullis another portcullis and then we've got this uh elevated platform which is effectively a shooting gallery um you can have archers up there there'll be archers here archers there um, and then you come through here and um, come around the corner, come down these steps, archers there. So come down here and you can still get shot at, uh, but you're coming down all of these steps all the way down. And this, of course, is not, not, uh, not finished yet. Um, and, ooh, I'm missing, am I missing? Yeah, I'm, I'm missing some rail there. Not sure why that's doing that. I think it's a biome thing, which that's super annoying. I'll fix that. But you come down here. So you, this is the main uh, this is the main cell block uh, uh, floor, and we've got cells in here. You know, they're very small, um, and I will put I'll put doors on the cells. Uh, but there's cells down here, and um, these are for you know. You know, high-level prisoners, um, because you would have to make it all the way up these stairs. Um, meanwhile, you've got archers that can shoot down at you from like almost whoop, almost every angle. Um, you so you make it all the way up these stairs, uh, make it all the way through to this gallery, um, and then you can get shot at here. The only place you'd be able to hide would be like right here um, but you know eventually you're gonna you're not gonna be able to hide there anymore um, so then you come through here you're gonna shot out here and then you get the portcullis which will stop you from going this way well let's say you make it through that portcullis well you got murder holes here well let's say you make it through that this portcullis right you come out here and you've got archers there you've got archers there you've got archers there you've got archers there and you have to make it all the way down this, which gives you multiple opportunities to get shot at the entire time you're walking. And then, you, of course, you have to come all the way down this ramp um, to make it out through here. And there's portcullises here. And there's archers manning the lower gate as well. So, oh yeah, and there's archers here. So pretty defensible prison um 
Yeah, this is going to be, uh, I'll, I'll fill this in so that you've got uh, uh, archers and you know guards from over here. Uh, same thing on this side. Um, these towers, of course, here's the you know kill holes for the entry. Um, and these towers do go up. Or this, I guess this tower is the, uh, that's the main gatehouse. So it's pretty, pretty darn defensible. Um, you come in here and this can be, the gatehouse can be accessed through these. So these guys will come out here, they can shoot there and there. And they come out here and you're in these towers, right? So these two towers are going to be, they're going to be stair towers as well as like air, you know, rest areas, that kind of thing. Um, this is going to be, um, you know, kind of a viewing area, you know, a relaxing area. Uh, there's not a whole lot of space, so I'm just going to put some tables and chairs out here for guards to rest, relax, that kind of thing. Um, you come all the way down here. Of course, this is another access point for them to get out to here. Um, and then we'll come down to here. And this is going to be an elevated platform down here for the, the guards to, uh, you know, target, uh, target people, that kind of thing, you know, target prisoners, uh, you know, vandals, that kind of thing that are trying to come in. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, where's, where's the kitchen? Well, the kitchen's not built yet. Um, the feast hall is not built yet. The, um, areas that they're going to be sleeping. Oh yeah. And this is going to be closed off to the point where I can walk through here. So this will be a platform. So what we're, what we are in right now, this area we are in right now is actually, uh, the birthing area. This is where this is the guards quarters here. I just haven't built it yet, but this is where it, that's going to go. Um, and this is going to be a nice domed arch. Well, not domed, but arched um, roof and guards quarters here. Um, and I think what I'm really thinking is that um, one of the base of these towers is going to be kitchen and one of the base of these towers is going to be um, uh, dining um, or I will put a building I'll put another offshoot um, that you can access to to get to the uh, get to the dining facility. Um, you know, I haven't I haven't decided on that yet. Um, most of the build was focused on defensibility and structural strength, and you know, add add a little bit of um, a little bit of. Uh, you know, niceness to it for the guards. Um, and, you know, I really wanted to, I wanted to do kind of a Chateau Deef type uh, feel to it um, without it being on an island, you know. So it's got, it's the inescapable prison, except for, of course, the Count of Monte Cristo. And, um, but, but not on an island. But it does have an island feel to it because it's, I mean, it's isolated. It's really isolated up here. So, so that's where we're at with this, with this, uh, with this prison. Um, you know, I, I've done my standard thing where I got my block palette over here. Um, that, you know, there's the actual, that's the actual prison uh, blocks there and, you know, there and there. Um, I liked the dark because it, it just gave like an ominous um you know feel to it now there is no um there's no torture rooms there's no execution rooms or anything like that at this prison because that's not what this prison's for um now there may be another facility later um that will be for that um i also thought about putting putting a tower right here um, that was used for that kind of thing. You know, maybe they marched them out here. I actually kind of like that idea. Um, so we might be doing that. Uh, we might be making a tower, uh, maybe like right, you know, probably like right here, um, where we march 
prisoners out, and this is where they go to get tortured or get uh, executed, that kind of thing. And and at the very very base of it, we may make it. Oh uh, no, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna put like super duper pr uh, prisoners down here because it's outside of the the security walls. So this will just be this would just be for like you know torture and execution that kind of thing. You know, cheerful things, cheerful things. Um, and I mean, you notice with the trees, there's a lot of variation with them. I used um, I used my favorite tree packs uh, to put the trees in. Um, you know, the trees are different, um, different sizes, different shapes. They are all um, uh, coniferous, you know, firs and spruces and that kind of thing. Um, so I did make the forest kind of like that. Um, and I'm going to have, you see how there's uh, sparse ones over there. I think Bad Cameraman did some of that actually last night. Um, uh, this forest is going to kind of come around, um, and, you know, follow the, uh, it's going to follow the lines and this is all going to be forested. Um, and I might actually do that in, uh, I might actually do that in a time lapse. Um, you know, I'll turn shaders off and um, do this, this forestation in a time lapse so you can see what schematic brush can really do. Um, and we'll travel around and, and you know, unmask a, a big area. Um, how do I, how do I get, no, that's not it, dang. Um, mm -hmm. This is super annoying. There we go, finally go away. So, um, the forest, I really want it to kind of come up through here, come up through here, come across. Um, I want it to come all the way through and uh, come up through here. And this is some of the more, it's the same type of forest. So I'd like to just extend it. And then um, you see, I brought it up through over here. Now this is, these are different kinds of trees over here. Um, and I've got to look at that and see what we're going to do about that. And um, future projects on this map, because Whaleboro, Whaleboro is just this this town. This is Whaleboro is only this town, um, and the town is growing, um, but it's just that uh, that that small area is Whaleboro. Um, there are going to be other other towns, other areas. Um, this is a big candidate. This one right here is a very big candidate for the next town or the next village or the next city-state type thing. Um, and I mean, of course, you would have to you'd have to sail a boat around that way to get to here, or or we do roads or something. Um, I do like the idea of doing a bridge across. It'd be kind of cool. But that's all in later stages. Um, for now, we are, you know, we are going to, we, I'm going to continue doing the, uh, the foresting. And I might, I'll probably do that today. I'll probably do a time lapse of it today. And we'll do a talk through of using schematic brush. Uh, I'll drop a couple trees and that kind of thing. And then we'll, and then we'll go and I'll time lapse out um, foresting this entire valley. Um, and we are going to get more Whaleboro uh, build videos up. Um, the town's really coming along. I really like that effect with the with the mist in the trees. Um, and you know, if there's any other plugins that we could use, you know, I am looking at those. I am trying to decide, you know, what God, what would be good because I don't know. I don't know what plugins. Are good plugins? Uh, what plugins are not good plugins? Um, and I got to talk to I got to talk to uh, uh, Mr. Tourist to see exactly what he wanted to do here because it's starting to drive me nuts a little bit that there's nothing built up here. I gotta I gotta work on. I think I might have to actually start working in this area. Um, crop storage plus tools. Oh, these are the farms. 
That's farm area, that's right. Okay. So um, the next Whaleboro video, we're actually going to, um, we're going to finish the cobbler house. Oh, we'll start and finish, and we've got the rough out right now. We're going to start and finish the cobbler house. Um, we'll probably um, detail out um, the jeweler and the sale shop uh, interiors. And so this block, <coughs> this block of houses um, will be done on the next Wilboro video. Um, and then we're gonna, we're, okay, so we're gonna landscape this over here. Um, I might actually do the landscaping off camera just because um, it's kind of tedious. Um, in as far as stuff on camera or in replays, I think what I'm gonna do is stick to exteriors of buildings. Um, because the interiors, it's really hard to, with replay mod, to get the interior um, time lapse done. Because it's usually really cramped and it's usually hard to move around and it's hard to see things. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll leave uh, time lapses to exteriors, you know, exterior building, and um, and then and then the the in game builds we're gonna there's certain you know certain big things we'll do in game um you know live not live but you know what I mean live ish and um in interior building I might do it in a non time lapse um but I'd like to stick to you know things that are more interesting for people to see you know the building of you know, the construction of the building the layouts that kind of thing. Um, it's just, I think it's, it's a lot cooler than, um, you know, me putting tables and chairs and a bed and, you know, a cabinet and things like that. Um, so we're going to stick with that. So, um, and I will do, a, I will do an update fly through, um, across the bay. Uh, let me talk to Mr. Tourist first, just to make sure. Oh, the the beacon. We'll check and see if there's anything in there. Hmm, there's something in here. What's in here? Ah, uh, it's the ah, uh, it's my note. All right. Let's see, Mr. Need to do the the farm. Ronan. Done. Pop that in there. Boom. We'll take our grass block up. Right. And flip the switch. Beacon. So this is just, this is like a little inbox thing um, for, for everybody. Um, and I think I talked about it before. You know, we leave messages, that kind of thing, um, to see what we're, you know, hey, what are we working on next? And that's if... That's a little in-game in thing. Um, we also talk on uh, Discord, that kind of thing. So, um, and that's the teleporter that goes to a different region that we are going to eventually build at. Um, I just did some exploring one time, and uh, I don't know. I might, I might do a build. I've got a single-player version of this map. I might do a build over there and see if I like it, and then you know schematic it in here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we're running. We're running uh, heavy on time on this one. And I just wanted this to be kind of a quick, quickie. Um, so like, comment, uh, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, more whaleboro, whaleboro, whaleboro words uh, videos to come. Um, there is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing.
and a lot of stuff that uh, oh darn it um, a lot of stuff to be improved and uh, I'm gonna talk to the guys and see what we think about letting you know putting the server IP out there so people can come and take a look at the server and fly around and things and see if they see what they think see what they like and any suggestions and uh, yeah, go from there all right this is bad running. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.